All right, and we're here. I wonder what they better do to this dude. Oh. Damn. Oh. Oh. Please. I didn't do nothing. You didn't do nothing. You were getting ready to fucking kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. Ah, that fuck never liked me. I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I don't. I don't. Come on, Mikey. Why do you want me gone all of a sudden? He said you were a carpet baby. Never should have been down here in the first place. Oh, damn. <laughs> you want me to keep going? You got nine more. Fuck! Listen, Jesus, he was worried you knew about the casino. And so we're gonna play up to Leo and the commission. What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sal, he's... You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there. He wants to go legit. Turn this city into Las Vegas. Gambling's illegal. Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal. Uh, which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the lost chain. Who else is involved in this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I <laughs> Look, I... I told you what you wanted to know. You're gonna let me go now, right? That boy did, man. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Stupid fucking prick. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Hey, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. It's a woman named Alma. Helps me out sometimes. Cuban. Mean as fuck. Should talk to her, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. Damn. They finna gutter this nigga. Did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. <laughs> You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You paid me what's fucking old. You think this is a game, <laughs> son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shit. Well, hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Hmm. Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. Mainly, I'm worried I'm going to get a phone call telling me you're dead in the gutter somewhere. Mm. Now you're quiet. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door. Glad hand folks, as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass. You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sound boring as fuck. It's the only way, son. The world is changing. It used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. Now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, mix, gooks, you name it. Oh yeah, he did. Now we're doing things. Yeah, he did. The world like that. He did, boy. He did, boy. He did. 
Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah. Lincoln Clay is still alive. Fuck me. Y'all thought he was dead, huh? Oh yeah, it's done. It's over for y'all. It's over. It's over. Yup. Damn, I only got I got this piece of junk. Talk to Father James, how things really okay. Talk to Donovan, who we shooting. Earned a marker. Use markers to pay for associates. Okay. So I'm guessing this to get more money and stuff like that. I bet. Because I know we got to go all the way over there to get another... Uh, Talk to Father James. It's a lot of stuff we gotta do. All right, so we gotta talk to this, some dude named Berkey. Try the back door. Uh, Berk. Been a while. Lincoln Clay. Jesus Christ on the cross. Nasty and everything. I heard you were dead. Been hearing that a lot. What the fuck do you want? Came here to make you a business proposition. Is that so? I'm going after Marcano. His brothers, anyone else that's associated with him. Oh. Yeah, what may help? Damn. The way I see it, once we deal with Barbieri, you get Point Badam back. After that, we can discuss what happens to the rest of the city. Hey, no, fuck off. You've all the chalky postures, what's already? Look where I got me. From where I'm standing, I'm not seeing much of a difference between then and now. You less than that, you less than God, you fuck. <laughs> Danny was so buttoned up, the coroner wouldn't let me get a last look. Danny one's killing that fucking Marcano. That's me. Unless Marcano's hanging around one of these dive bars, I don't think he has too much to worry about. Yeah, go fuck yourself. There are more stones in the likes of you that are fucking off. A fucking ingrate. Coming to your question, me. You and your kind, you are caught and run at the first sign of trouble. You always have, you always will. <sighs> Drive like a madman. man. man. Berkey needs convincing that you're serious. Speed. Oh. He don't think I'm serious? Say less. Move over, or I'll move you over. Let's go on the drive. Christ, y'all ain't gonna turn. You were bragging about your stones, so I figured we'd take a little ride. See who cracks first. The Chalky or the Mick? Come on, old man. It ain't the whiskey turning you green. You ain't proving nothing. There you go, Chucky. Right up his flaps of this, Molly. He really don't think I'm serious right now? All right. Give me the word when you've had enough. There you go. <laughs> all right, all right. You proved your point, your mango saw. Pull over here. Now, get the fuck out of my raid. Stop by me shop. We can talk, doesn't it? Oh, they just... Okay, appreciate the car, butler. Right, how'd, I, how'd I get inside? Oh. Back so soon then. Tell me about Barbieri. Barbieri? He's a right fucking cunt. He 
can tell you that much. You know what I'm asking, Burke. Give me something I can use. Barbieri's running Splow, head of the Sweetwater Distillery. Splow. Panther's piss. White Mule. Alley Gin. Potchain. Moonshine. You ignorant fuck. Christ, what can a booze you people drink over there in Darkyville? Kind is not called pain as piss. <laughs> Boy, you ain't lived. Set the whole thing up myself. And that gunny fuck comes in, takes it from me. Smashes me knee all to hell. Damn. Barbara Harry's gonna suffer. You hear? Days. Slow. What else has he got besides the distillery? I runs that old Robert O. Slaughterhouse. He's doing more in there than cutting a lean ribeye. Drags in there. That's the end of you. I'll do the heavy lifting on this, Burke. Uh -huh. but once Barbieri's dead, I'm counting on you to step up. Oh, I'll do more than step up. I'll either be running this whole damn town or burning it to the ground. But honest, it'll make a whole lot of difference to me either way. <laughs> and yes, and one. That boy is drunk as who? A nation once again. I will be looking concerned too. A province be a nation once again. Oh, associate game vehicle delivery. Ooh. That's a bag. Say less. Like, what's in here, though? Probably stuff I need. Oh. Need those. Oh, there you go. I got the will and the way to handle anything you bring me. Remember that. Blanket, over here. Surprised to see you, Nikki. I know what you're planning on doing. And I couldn't just sit here and watch my old man send you out half cocked. Fuck. Man, your dad's never been much for details. Yeah, what he didn't tell you is that the man running the Sweetwater Distillery is named Carl Bevers. Hard ass, country asshole. His family runs the shine through the business, sells it to local shops. Bevers ever let on to where he keeps his stills? Uh, he's got brains enough to move things around. Rumor is he's got a map hit somewhere for his drivers. <laughs> Something like that could come in handy. Maybe I'll convince one of his men to tell me where it is. Hey, we've got another man. Goes by the name of Bear. Keeping an eye on the meatpacking plant. You should go see him. I'll do that. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Lincoln. You want to know what Bevis is up to, you're going to have to get at some of his people. All right, story mission unlocked. 